Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Since it was announced that there was going to be an alignment of versioning within the game between Horizons and Odyssey, and a move, if you wanted, from version 3.8 to a more feature-rich version 4, there have been plenty of questions from the community. Frontier have heard this and have come up with a frequently asked questions page to try and answer some of these concerns. Let's take a look. Now there's been a hell of a lot of confusion about this and when they announced it towards the beginning of or end of July, I should say beginning of August, a lot of people had an awful lot of questions. They wanted to know, well, okay, there's going to be an alignment of versions in Elite Dangerous. Version 4, which is what Odyssey is on, and Horizons is on version 3.8. That's two versions of the game engine they've got running. Great, brilliant. So then this announcement came out today, and the announcement said, the option to launch Elite Dangerous in version 4 will allow players on version 3.8 who do not own the Odyssey expansion to experience the improvements that the 4.0 code brace brings. Yeah, see what I mean? It's not straightforward. These include enhanced visuals, user interface, and a plethora, their words, not mine, of quality of life changes from the updates that have been announced since May 2021. Now, why May 2021? Well, that's when Odyssey went live, right? And there was all this new planetary tech. There was all this new lighting, all these tweaks to the game engine. Some would say it ran better. Some would say no, depending on the hardware you had. Either way, Elite Dangerous is a game that's getting quite long in the tooth. And to have a nice refresh like this, it certainly warrants it and the visuals can be absolutely spectacular. So whereas initially it was touted that they already wanted to maintain um, a limited code base to do improvements on, which you can see why they wanted to do it. Now it seems that there will be Elite Dangerous Horizons version 4, there will be, which will share it with Elite Dangerous Odyssey version 4. But like, you can also then remain on Elite Dangerous Horizons 3.8 if you want. Well, that's three versions of the game. So what's it all about then? So what they're saying is, like I mentioned, there's going to be visuals, user interface, quality of life changes. Yes, we get it. They also say that this option also provides an on-ramp to experience the new narrative phase, Aftermath, which will contain content that can only be experienced on version 4 of the game engine. Right, okay then. Combined with the console profile migration process coming next month, and you'll recall that in May 2022, it was announced that no more development for consoles and there is going to be a process to migrate your profile from console onto PC. Right, and they say this means that Xbox and PlayStation commanders will have the option to join us on this adventure if you migrate. Okay, so they've come up with this FAQ. Here we go. How will this affect instancing? Which, let's face it, has been pretty much abysmal since Odyssey's launch. There was people hanging around in hyperspace. You jump on your ship. Let's make a quick, fast getaway. You got your buddy driving the ship. You're laying down the fire. You get on, you board. And not in a adverse mo way of doing things. I mean, it's no Armstrong moment, as they stated, or reverse Armstrong moment, where you jump into your cockpit, you get onto your ship, you fly away, you go into hyperspace, next thing you know, you're floating around in the void. Now, I'm not being salty, that's what happens. Since update 13, however, we've had some good experiences. It's actually worked. I'll have to try it with a few more commanders on a bigger ship, but it's actually worked. So, they continue. How will this affect instancing? Players within these three versions of the game, and this is three versions, 3.8, 4.0 Horizons, 4.0 Odyssey, will be able to instance together. 
Right, okay, but it's not that though, is it? It's players within these versions of the game will be able to instance together. What they mean by this is, players will not be able to instance with players outside of their version. So, if I am on version 4 Odyssey, I will not be able to instance with commanders who are on 3.8. Well, naturally. And that seems like common sense. Okay? Um, however, what it also means is, is that if someone is on version 4 of Horizons, and I'm on version 4 of Odyssey, we can't instance there either. Well, okay, fair enough. And that's where I think the confusion was coming from. If you upgrade to version 4 of Horizons and version 4 of Odyssey, I think the way it was worded, it inferred perhaps that the two versions you would be able to instance. Anyway, they've cleared that up. You cannot instance outside your version. There you go. So will version 3.8 receive any further updates? Essential maintenance updates will continue on 3.8, although new content and features will only be on the version 4 versions of the game. Then it's another question about the background simulation. Will the background simulation continue to be shared between 3.8 and 4? Yes. Will 3.8 still receive community goals? Yes. Both of these will continue on 3.8 and contributions will be shared across versions. For version 4 may receive exclusive community goals and articles which include on-foot content. That's version 4 of Odyssey. Obviously, because there's no on foot for Horizons. So, has this cleared it up? A little bit. So, just to recap, if you're on version 3.8, you can't instance with any version 4 of the game. You can only instance with people who are on your own version. That is to say, if you're on version 4 of Horizons, then you and your crew on Horizons can instance. If you're on version 4 of Odyssey, yes, you can instance, but you can't instance between the two. There will be no loss of access to version 3.8. You'll retain the option to launch it in that version, should you want to. I can imagine that could only be down to perhaps certain elements in the game, like, say, crystal shards and hardware specifications of the rig you're running it on. Okay, I think that's pretty much fair. Or, you know, I don't know, you just might like that particular version of the game. 3.8 will receive essential maintenance updates, the background simulation will continue, and 3.8 will receive some community goals and Galnet articles that don't involve on-foot content. So, there you go. Now, they say, and there's a little note at the bottom, please note that these answers reflect our intentions at the time of releasing the option to launch in 4.0, but may be revised after implementation. Standard get out of jail free card. But at least you've got a few more answers to the questions that came out. When I first read it, I thought, well, this is about as clear as mud. But now, yeah, I get it. So the versioning, great, brilliant. If you can manage to run it, get up to version 4 of Horizons, personally. Uh, if you can run Odyssey, you get so much more out of Odyssey. It really is, I think a richer experience than what you get on Horizons, but I think it's all going to be down to hardware specifications. Though so saying that, the team that I stream with and myself can run it on a 1050 and less graphics cards now without too much of a degradation in the overall game experience. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video. I've been Ricardo. Thanks very much for watching and check back for more videos in the series. See you out there.